welcome. Welcome. Six months later, it's still snowing outside, although it is the end of winter here in Austria, Linz, within the Ars Electronica Center. Today, I'm excited to tell you a little bit more about the Welcome Chorus by the Japanese artist Yori Suzuki. Let's check out the artwork. Those beautiful 12 horns are actually not just an artwork at the nexus of technology, design and music, but are a community project. Twelve horns represent several districts in the UK. Yuri Suzuki is now based in London, where he also developed the artwork together with his team. The community aspect is that they created workshops, gatherings of local people across the UK and asked them to describe their current surroundings, to describe the landscape, how it turned into industry parts, how they move from their cities to their workplaces and what they see and what they experience. So it is not just an artificial piece, but it is actually a representation of today's time, a representation of the people, the audiences, and how they live their daily lives at the moment. All those stories, have been fed and transcribed, of course, in an artificial intelligence model. It's called GPT-2. GPT-2 was developed by OpenAI, an American organization that is dedicated to making artificial intelligence more inclusive. GPT-2 collected data from more than 80 million websites and has learned to write text, actually, based on just a couple of words. Twelve horns behind me, they are all equipped with individual speakers and have individual voices. That means once we interact with the artworks, once we give our voice to the artwork, 12 different voices will work with that feedback. And then out of one voice, we create a piece, a chorus piece that can be then heard in the exhibition space. The artwork is an installation that is based on music technology, but especially on artificial intelligence. So GPT-2 is responsible for the lyrics, for the text. The second system, which has been developed by Bob Sturm, a musician and professor at Stockholm University, fed his own system with folk music from Ireland and the UK. And the melodies, the velocity, the kind of the rhythm is actually created through that system and then put together with, uh, within the machine to create a new chorus piece, a new artwork. For the artist, the community aspect was important. It is this topic of, in a way, humanizing technology, of creating a common experience so that the participants, the previous participants, as well as the current ones, become part of an artwork and you can hear their collective voices once you interact with the artwork. Thank you so much for joining today. That's about it with today's episode. And please don't forget to look at our other videos Subscribe to the channel before you leave. Thank you very much and goodbye. Goodbye.
Join clubs, join clubs, not far away, flat formation. Pinta, ha, ha.